Hi, I'm Shireen Xiong and I'm from Malaysia. I'm currently based in New York as a pianist, composer and arranger. And I recently graduated from Berklee College of Music, dual majoring in contemporary writing and production and also music business. I played in a church for the past four years, particularly in a church in Boston called Mars Hill Fellowship Church. Um, the style of the music is pretty much towards gospel and contemporary Christian music, which is also known as CCM. Today, I would like to talk to you about a few cadences that we can use in a church setting, whether it's an atmospheric vibe or a very upbeat kind of vibe. So, at the end of this video, I'm going to demonstrate an example of some of the techniques that I spoke about throughout this lesson. So, stay tuned. In a church setting, usually there are atmospheric vibes and also a more upbeat, um, happy kind of vibe that you have to take note if you are going to lead as a keyboardist in a church setting. So, I'd like to talk about the cadences of the atmospheric vibe right now. And we can go down to a very simple cadence first to so start off with, which is cadence 1 to 4. Um, you can just ramp over it over and over again and to create the very intimate, um, atmospheric vibe for the church people to, you know, pray before the worship set starts. Notice how um, when it's intimate, you want it to be less rather than um, more because you know less is more. You want it to be very um, atmospheric at the same time to create that space for, for, for them to feel intimate. And this next cadence that is very useful as well, it's chord um, 6 minor to chord 5 in first inversion walking up to chord 1 and then 2, 6, 5. This is in the key of D flat. It's very common that you can use as well. So you notice that I did a little bit of the cliché. This is a very common um, cliché. You call it the gospel cliché that you can use in a worship setting. Let's move on to the other cadence that you can use, which consists of um, second dirty dominant and also modal interchange chords. Um, an example is chord 1, 1, 7, sus 4 to chord 4 and flat 7-7 seven, seven. in the key of F, this is how it sounds like. more intimate vibe that you can use. Um, this particular cadence is also very nice for upbeat kind of vibe when in a church setting there's offering or like meet and greet.
now we move on to the idea of pedal point. Um, pedal point is a very powerful thing, especially when you know some in some churches when pastor preaches at the end of the service or like um, when when it's after the last song in a set and then they need to pray and then it gets more in, intense. What I personally like to use is tonic pedal point and tonic pedal point in the key of E. You can use chord 1, flat 7 major and then chord 4 and back to chord 1. This is how it sounds like. enjoyed the lesson and if you're interested in knowing more you can check out my profile on lesson phase and we can talk more from there and I hope you learned something from this lesson and hope to see you again thank you <laughs>